Hey there, I hope you're doing great. My name is Nates and I was on the Facebook forums, uh, Storyline forums, and there was a question about an image and how you can make an interaction where user has to click in order. And there were quite many comments saying use variables and state and states and things like that, but uh, I think we can do it much easier. And so before we dive into that, let me share two approaches I take when developing in Storyline. First one would be keep it simple. You don't want to mess with tons of variables and tons of triggers if it's not necessary. And number two, make it versatile, which means develop it in a way that you can easily change it in the future if it's needed, which means the first approach might prevail over the second one, you know? So you might do it in a stupid way because it doesn't make sense to put so much effort into it because it's not gonna be changed in the future. So I think this is the case in this case. So let me show you how I would approach this and I think it's quite simple and you can leave a comment if you think it can be simpler or if I uh, am super mistaken. Let's try. Okay, so here is my super simple slide. So we want user to click in, in the order one, two, three, and if it's wrong, we get, we're gonna show some sort of notification and they have to start all. So here's what I'm thinking. I think we can all everything, do everything in layers. So forget, forget about variables and things like that. We'll just tackle, tackle layers and we can pretend this is a nice picture of an object. So layer number one would be so user first has to click on the first one. So this would be layer number one. Let's say we're gonna do the, the correct versions first and then the fail feedback layer. So they clicked number one, which means we can say show layer number one when user clicks over one. Great. Now we're at step number two, basically. So maybe we should call this one two so it's much it's clearer what we're doing. So in this case, I'll just create a hotspot, put it over number two, like that. Okay, so this is a, a, another right, correct click. So let's do number three. So let's go back to two, show layer three when user clicks hotspot one. And now we're at three. Uh, so they have to click three now and then I guess we'll have a win layer and here we can ch check and uh, show another show layer win when user clicks hotspot one fantastic so show another trigger win and we'll just say I don't know good job fantastic design okay that's all we need for the correct ones. Now let's return back to the base slide. Here, we're gonna say, let's create a fail layer first. So fail, and let, let me just duplicate this marvelous design here. Fail, again. And here we'll just say, let's have this for two, one second, and we're just gonna hide this layer when timeline ends this layer and just in case we're gonna say when revisiting reset to initial state so we always load this slide okay so um, let's create triggers for the wrong versions so here we're gonna just paste over here so we're gonna say show layer fail show layer fail now let's go to the second one, here, again show layer fail, and now I can duplicate it because my trigger is ready, and I can just copy paste it again for layer number three, like this, and I think, I think we're done, I think we're done. Okay, so let me try one to three, and then we'll try three to one. So that was quite fast, right? I'm not sure what the minute mark is, but should be low. Okay, one, two, three. Good job, yay, go us. 
Okay, let's try again. So two, fail, three, fail, one. Now three, fail. So we're starting, the, starting again. One, two, and then we don't know what comes after two. So we click one again, fail. One, two, three, good job. That's it. It, it can be quite simple. Just don't overcomplicate things if it's not needed, really. Just, you know, focus on the mission at hand. Uh, and uh, don't forget that layers can also be used as sort of uh, like boxes for triggers. So you don't have to put everything in the base layer. So in this case here, I'm just sort of using them as, you know, new housing of triggers for this particular situation. There you go. Hope you learned something. And I'm not exactly sure what I should say now. So, uh, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious.